Inside the building behind me, the sovereignty of the greatest nation on earth is currently at stake. Radical members of the Canada Party are planning on taking over America. Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps out. So the, the latest, like, uh, you know, Reuters New York Times poll showed that you probably, you have about a 0% uh, standing in most of the swing states right now, like Pennsylvania. That puts us in second next to Obama, I guess. Yeah, because there's a margin of error. You're not taking yeah. into account. Think, yeah. Plus or minus, so 3, 3%, 4%. So but we're within what we think of Romney right now. So why did you come out here tonight? Well, I couldn't resist David Beers' uh, invitation because uh, <laughs> it said beer plus um, it just sounded like a hoot. And I want to learn more about Canada and, um, and what it has to offer to America because, you know, I came up here for a reason and I'm trying to figure out why. How are the American people responding to your campaign so far? Uh, fantastic. Mostly is cries of help us please or marry us if you can't yeah. win. We, we had a caller, uh, we were doing a show today, we had a caller call in and say, how do I sign the ballot correctly to make sure that I vote for you? Uh, caught us off guard a little bit, but we instructed him to put the Canada party, spaces in between. Pretty basic. And uh, what kind of changes do you think we can hope to see when uh, the Canadian people will take over the U.S. government? When Canada wins? Well, it'll be a friendlier and much uh, 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 bigger. The Washington Monument. Yep. Uh, now, we don't think Americans will take too kindly to us offering their national penis. Um, we're kind of sensitive about that. If it were a national vagina, of course, you're like, how about it? Go ahead and change it any way you want. It's going to take to us, you know, let's do it. Um, but the penis, no, the, the dudes aren't so into that. So we're not going to really design it. But we've got to figure out how we're going to make it more Canadian. And then it struck us. We'll just make it a little bigger. It'll be a lot to offer down there, yeah. Nanaimo bars, you know where they have Nanaimo bars? McLeod Gonj, India, they had Nanaimo bars. Now we need to, I need to get, bring them down to Texas because, you know, Nanaimo bars. We're talking cabinet here. Who's president? Who's vice president? Well, the, the, Canadian, the Canadian people, people are president. Are, are, are president yeah. Yeah. Every, every Canadian, yeah, collectively. What kind of specific changes do you plan on making when you get elected? Oh, I, keep, I, I haven't grasped the fact that I might get elected. You know, was, yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, on a very serious note, health care. I would certainly change health care. I don't really have a funny response to that, but uh, I'm certainly behind any, any health care reform. Yeah, i gotta, got to address the gap between the rich and the poor, don't you know? You know, so it's got to be done. It's got to be done fast. Make everybody feel sort of equal, more equal. What do you think? That, I think that that was a surprisingly serious response to that question. Now for Vice President, we've been we've been going round and round about it. Yeah, there we've, uh, you know, Lichtenstein's looking pretty good right now. Um, Mars Rover? The Mars Rover, I mean, wow, talk about overachieving. Yeah. Uh, that's big, He's been right? Vetted. And foreign, foreign affairs, foreign yeah. policy. Can you get any more foreign than Mars? Well, an individual can make a lot of difference. Oh, yeah, that's right. And Nanaimo Mars, you know, that would contribute to the wideness of the population down there and then we could offer them our health care and, hey, you know. That, it's, a, it's a flawless uh, plan. The American people will have to decide who will be their next leader. Members of the Canada Party would like to think that they could offer some advice, that they could help fix some of the problems, like that Coldplay song about fixing things. But... In the end, do we really want to fix America? It's so funny right now, the way it is. That Honey Boo Boo show, Predator Drones, Shark Week, the Lingerie Bowl, the KFC Double Down, Conservative Talk Radio. Have you ever actually listened to it? Now let's go back to the Nazis in Greece. Sometimes there's just no fix in America.